Welcome, Jennifer! <laughs> Yay! You're loud. You can even clap for yourself. <laughs> That's so good. You have gained quite a following for your informative videos. You're telling people how to look for quality. What's the feedback been like for you? It's been awesome and a bit overwhelming, but it's been really amazing. So many people are messaging me or sending me DMs on comments. They're telling me how appreciative they are of my tips, and they're using my tips to buy better quality clothes. They're wearing them for longer, and they're saving money. And saving the environment, too. Exactly. So we love that. So uh, Jennifer's actually going to help us with quality. Like, help us know what to look for. We want to make sure we're getting our money's worth when we are out there buying uh, clothing. You say the first thing we need to be looking at is the garment tag. Yeah, absolutely. Because depending on the type of garment you have, mm -hmm. there, is, there is an optimal fiber content. So, for example, okay. we have this coat here. And for coats, I usually recommend 100% wool because okay. that's what's gonna keep you the most warm and yeah. that's gonna last the longest. So you really wanna avoid synthetics like polyester, polyamide, nylon, because those tend to hold on to odor. They're petroleum-based oh. products and they hold on to our body oils, so that tends to make you a little bit smelly. And because coats, we don't wash them that often, we don't want yeah. that, right? Okay, so that is something I didn't realize. If you have anything, is it anything synthetic is petroleum-based? Uh, polyester and polyamide. Polyester. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those two products, if your clothes is stinky, that's yeah. why it's holding <laughs> on. Yeah. Okay, let's talk a little bit about sweaters. So we know when it's sweater weather, we're out there buying sweaters. Yeah. What should we be looking for? Absolutely. So I have a few examples here. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Okay, so we have this one. This is a acrylic cotton and wool blend. Okay. This one is 100% wool. And then we have this one, which is a mohair and nylon blend. Okay, so, so three different sweaters, three different materials. Yes, exactly. Um, you want me to feel these ones and let yeah. you know what I think? Yeah, so what this do you one think? feels nice and soft. <laughs> this one, very good, like it feels like it's a good quality, a little bit rougher. And then finally, this one with a little bit of mohair. Oh, that's nice and soft. Yeah. <laughs> what do we need to know about each one? Which one is giving quality? So actually, this is the one that I would suggest people to avoid because it, it contains acrylic. And acrylic is meant to mimic cashmere, so it's going to feel nice and soft when you're touching it in store. Mm -hmm. And maybe it feels nice and looks nice when you try it on too. Yeah. But after one or two washes, this is going to look really old and it's going to be a little bit crusty. It's going to get crusty. Yeah. So is this going to pill? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so this is going to pill, and then when it does, it's going to be hard to remove the pilling because of the synthetic fibers in it. Okay, so this one, we're going to leave that one behind. <laughs> this one is 100% wool. Yeah. Do we like this? Yeah, so wool actually tends to pill as well, but okay. you'll notice that the pilling on this one is really easy to remove because those wool fibers are just detaching themselves, whereas that one, they're forming little balls of plastic on top of your sweater, and it's gonna be impossible to take them off. Okay, so wool we're okay with. Yeah. And what are we doing? We're washing and then what? We're washing and laying flat to dry. Flat dry, yeah. okay. So wool's giving us good quality. Yeah. This one is what, mohair and? Yeah, so a good rule of thumb is to uh, find uh, natural fibers, like that wool sweater. But this yes. one has the nylon blended into the mohair, and there's a good reason for that. So. Uh, because mohair is um, a shorter fiber, that's what gives you this lovely fuzzy texture. Mm -hmm. But it needs to be stabilized because if you're making a sweater with 100% mohair, it's gonna shed and disintegrate so quickly. So that polyamide actually is a core to the yarn and it's gonna stabilize that yarn so that your sweater looks nicer for longer. So we have a natural and we have a synthetic and they work well together. Exactly. So this is good quality as well. Exactly. Okay, good. So now we know these are the sweaters we want to get and maybe leave the first one behind. That's right. <laughs> okay, let's talk a little bit about the details when it comes to sewing. I'll give you those. Sure, yeah. Because you need to actually be looking at how a fabric or a piece of clothing is put together to know if it is a quality piece of clothing Yeah. as well. So back to this gorgeous coat. Back to this coat, yeah. So. When I first look at a garment in store, I look at the front and you see sewing on the lapels here, right? I'm just gonna show you that. So yeah. all of these stitches along here, what are we looking for, Jennifer? So we're looking for evenness across the stitching and we're looking for no missing stitches or loose threads coming out. Okay. Yeah, because what? a yeah. loose thread might be a small problem, but it indicates poor manufacturing. Poor manufacturing if you've yeah. got loose threads there. Exactly. So this one looks like good quality. This is a good one, yeah. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Um, lining? Yeah. Want to talk about lining of since course. we have, uh, you can use this oh, or you yeah. can use so another one. I'm going to use the blazers here. Sure. 
So when you're looking for a, a good quality outfit, I remember my mom always saying, well, is it lined? You know, because <laughs> that lining just gives you that extra bit of fabric, that extra bit of protection. Yeah, it's exactly. gonna feel better against your skin, but what are we looking for in the lining? So we're looking for the lining fabric to be cut to size, meaning that there's no drooping of the lining outside of your garment, because right. if you're looking at it from the other side, that's gonna look really messy. Yeah. So we want that to be nice and neat looking. Okay. And we want this fabric to be nice and silky and a little bit slippery because that's what's going to help us glide over our clothes and help yes. us put it on. Okay. Yeah. And this one would be an example of it not doing that. Exactly. So this is a bit rougher. You can feel some friction. Yeah. So over time, this is going to be more likely to tear and rip because you're pl uh, putting so much force on it. Oh. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. Now, buttons. Yes. Buttons are always good to look at because there's a well-constructed button and there's a less well-constructed exactly. button. So what are we looking for with our buttons? So for buttons on things like blazers, like these bigger buttons, you always want to look for something that's reinforced. And what I mean by that is you're looking for a thread that's wrapped around the base of the button. I'll just hold that for you. So <laughs> it's teeny tiny. But there's actually, oh, how do I show that? There's actually thread wrapped around the base of the button, and that's going to keep this button attached. Yes. Whereas this one does not have that. And that's why you have some items and the button just pops off. Exactly, like, and then you'll lose that. And then it's gone, yep. right? And yep. then you go looking through all of your leftover buttons to see if you have anything that matches. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this has one other thing uh, in it that uh, also screams quality. The inside of the button has a, another tiny button. So this is it on the outside, and this is this on the inside. So it's reinforced. Exactly. This That's good never quality. Come off. Yeah. So sometimes you see something, and it's at, a, it's at a certain price, and you're thinking, why is this so expensive? Yeah. These are the reasons the extra why. extra details, exactly. These are the extra details that you want to hang on to um, and make sure you keep your items for a long time. Jennifer, exactly. thank you so much for this. Yeah, no problem.